What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another F1 diecast video. Today is hopefully going to be a shorter one because I'm not actually reviewing a new car. I'm going to be doing another comparison video, but it's not going to be nearly in depth as the last ones that I did. Now, okay, Spark versus Mini Champs. If you're new around here, those Spark and Mini Champs are the two most common or well-known F1 model manufacturers. And for the longest time, I've always said that Mini Champs is better than Spark. And for the most part, no one has really ever said anything to contradict or counteract that. However, in my last video on the suspension, in my video about the Sebastian Vettel Aston Martin Spark model, uh, I said Mini Champs is better than Spark, and I actually had a couple people say that they either didn't agree with that or they said that most collectors wouldn't agree with that. And today, I have an example that might show that they're actually onto something. A Mini Champs might actually not be as good as I thought they were. <laughs> Now this is just going to be an isolated example. This isn't meant to say definitively Mini Champs is better or definitively Spark is better. However, in this isolated incident, I think we can make a decision on which one is better. And since you guys as the audience collectively have more F1 models than I could ever possibly have, you can use that to make your judgment or whatever the hell you want to do. <laughs> But first, before I show you the two cars that we are going to be comparing, I need to show you guys why I thought for the longest time that Mini Champs was better than Spark. We're gonna have to break out the 2018 cars. It's your guys' favorite cars. Here is the Spark Marcus Ericsson. We'll go ahead and ignore um, that. <laughs> And also we are going to look at the Mini Champs Brendan Hartley because this is going to be crucial. These two cars are going to be crucial in um, the analysis or at least my original thought on which one was better. All right, so Spark Marcus Ericsson, the first one that we are going to look at today very, very quickly. The two points of interest, and these are the ones that I always cite. Um, first one is the Halo. Now, the Halo was introduced in 2018, or at least it became uh, required on every F1 car for every session in 2018. And this is, the Halo on this car is not good. It is not actually a separate winglet. You can see that there's a painted line for where it is supposed to be, but it's actually just molded into the Halo. There's like a little bit of a bump, but it's just a painted line where the Halo is supposed to be. And so the detail in this case is not good, especially on the Halo. Also, another point of interest is going to be the suspension, the wishbones and stuff like that. Now, I don't think that these are necessarily bad. Uh, specifically on this one, I don't think they're all that bad, but they just could be better. And so when we take a look at the Mini Champs, Brendan Hartley, we will take a look first here. I gotta dust this car, holy crap. <laughs> All right, so Mini Champs Brandon, Brandon. Mini Champs Brandon Hartley. The Spark Marcus Ericsson was the first 2018 diecast I reviewed, and this was the second one. And if we look at the same two areas that I mentioned on the Spark, we've got the Halo, which you can see is a separate winglet, it's, it's pretty, it, it almost looks like it could just be molded, but it is a separate piece. Um, they certainly have gotten better over the years, but this is a separate piece, the winglet on the halo, and also the wishbones and the suspension. Now, I guess this is a matter of opinion, but personally, I think these ones look a lot better than they do on the Spark diecast. I'll see if I can fit them both on the screen at the same time. So personally, I just think the ones on the Mini Champs pop a little bit more. And they also have got that silver little detail up there. The Spark doesn't have that at all. And uh, so I, I always just really liked the way that the Mini Champs wishbones and suspension pieces, carbon fiber in general, I always, whoa. I always liked that a lot more than I did on the Spark car. Uh, and there's like a couple other minor things. I always liked the way that the Pirelli tires looked on the Mini Champs compared 
to the spark cars. They look kind of dull on here. I feel like this is more accurate to how they look in real life, but that's really not the point. Um, I just wanted to mention those two specific areas. So I think because of these examples in 2018 and early 2019, Mini Champs was better than Spark. Since then, however, I of course have gotten the 2019 Toro Rosso and the 2020 Alpha Tauri, which I have said are some of my, my two favorite models, F1 models that I have, and they are both made by Spark. And I have said many times that I think nowadays Spark and Mini Champs are pretty even. Um, but let's now show you the example uh, that I think may show that maybe Spark has surpassed them. And it seems, like I mentioned earlier from my Sebastian Vettel video, that a lot of collectors would agree. In this corner, some would say he's the greatest driver of all time. Others would say he's a crybaby fraud. It doesn't matter what you think. Get ready and grab Angela because it's Lewis Hamilton. Leave it alone, man. In the opposing corner, it's the greatest teammate of all time, the wingman. To who it may concern, fuck you. Valtteri Bottas! Alright, so this right here, I've reviewed this car before. This is the Spark Lewis Hamilton from the Turkish Grand Prix, the 2020 Turkish Grand Prix. And this one right here is the Mini Champs Valtteri Bottas from 2020. So we've got the 2020 Mercedes W11 we are gonna look at today. This is, I think, the first time that I've had a model, the same uh, the same car in both Spark and Mini Champ. So this is the first time I'm really able to do this comparison. And so in this case, I think that the Spark model is actually way better than the Mini Champs model. Now it should be noted, first of all, that this Valtteri Bottas is a metal model, and the Lewis Hamilton is a resin model. I really don't think the problems with these cars relate to them not being the same material, but it, it's possible that that could be the case. I guess a true, true comparison would be between a resin Mini Champs model and a resin Spark, which are all of them, but not all Mini Champs are resin. I don't think that really makes a difference. Now, let's first take a look at the suspension. So we're gonna first start with the Spark diecast. I'd show you the Halo. Well, I'll show you the Halo just cause it's all, it's a separate piece on both cars. That was just a reason why. Anyway, here is, let's take a look at the suspension. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this actually looks a lot more like the old Mini Champs. It looks more like the Brendan Hartley than it does um, the Marcus Erickson, but this is of course the Spark model. It has those silver details and whatnot. Another important thing, and this is the most important in this case, I think are the barge boards. And I'll show a better picture to get the lighting better, but just note, you can see the carbon fiber detail on the barge boards. Now let's take a look at the Valtteri Bottas. Now, here is the suspension. Now, I think they, it looks like shit. The suspension looks a lot more on this car like the Spark Marcus Erickson, not like the Mini Champs one at all. It's not very, I mean, it's detailed, but the detail is just not nearly as pronounced as it is on the Spark diecast, and it doesn't have those silver little connecting bits. And the most outrageous thing, I think, personally, are the barge boards right here. And once again, I'll show you a better picture, but no detail whatsoever. There's no carbon fiber detail on the barge boards at all. It looks clean, but it shouldn't look clean. At least I don't think it's supposed to. I've never had another car that just has absolutely no detail. And so from that alone, I think you can make the argument that the Spark is better than the Mini Champs because it's missing that detail, and I say this all the time, you're really not gonna notice on a shelf, and you're really not gonna notice that on a shelf at all. It's such a small detail, but you know, you guys you guys know, model car collectors go crazy for that shit. I don't really give a shit. I kinda like this car still, 
But there is another reason that I don't like this car, and I think that one is way more outrageous than the barge boards not being that detailed. But you guys know, collectors go crazy over details, stuff like that. The main reason I think this car is terrible is that it's the wrong color. I don't know if you guys can notice, I don't know if you guys can see it, but particularly the front half, uh, the Spark is like a pure, like black, like that is a black car. And that is what the 2020 Mercedes is supposed to look like. But the Valtteri Bottas is gray, it's, it's gray. And because of that, it just looks wrong. I mean, like everywhere around this car looks wrong because this, in in my head, this is supposed to be like a dark black car, but it's got a gray tint to it and it just looks awkward. It just doesn't look right. And I've noticed that as soon as I got this car, I noticed that the color was wrong. And that is something that even it's, if it's sitting on a shelf, you can notice. And I don't know if that has something to do with it, the fact that it's a metal model. The only other metal model I have is a silver Valtteri Bottas. So that one isn't really gonna be affected by a gray tint, but it just doesn't look, it just doesn't look good. And I think that is the main reason that this Valtteri Bottas looks a lot worse than this Lewis Hamilton. In terms of the in terms of the resolution and the decals and stuff like that, they're pretty they're almost identical. Like I've said before, Spark and Mini Champs are so close nowadays that it is really these subtle things, these subtle differences that make the difference on which one is better. Now, of course, this is the newest Mini Champs I have and this is the while well, this is actually isn't the newest Spark I have. But that's the newest Mini Champs that I have. So I can't say if all of the Mini Champs now do not have the details where they should. But in this specific example, Mercedes W11 versus Mercedes W11, Spark is better. Is that the truth on, a whole, on the whole? I don't know that. I would have to get more Spark and Mini Champs diecast to really put that to the test. So I will let you guys be the judge of that. Is Spark better than Mini Champs? It is something that I'm sure we will talk about a lot in 2022 as I continue to buy more F1 diecasts, if I continue to buy more F1 diecasts, question mark. And that is really all I have to say about this specific example. I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy Mini Champs diecasts. Like I said, they're still very close and perhaps this specifically with the paint color. I think they purposely chose not to put any detail on the barge boards, but the paint color, it just could be a factory air and I got the shitty one. But um, definitely be aware of all that when you are buying F1 model cars, because who knows, maybe the tides are turning. Maybe Mini Champs used to be top dog and then Spark came in and is now showing them up, which is really cool because competition makes everything better, really, most of the time. I don't know if that was that is. That is all I have to say for this video. Um, I did two videos in a row on this Valtteri Bottas, technically. I will be showing new stuff sooner or later. I just gotta wrap the year up. More F1 diecast, more proper reviews, will be coming shortly. But until then, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.